Hello and welcome to this new episode of Free Science 365. Today's science challenge is Guess the Shadow Challenge. So first of all, sorry for these headphones. Actually, my original mic broke. And so this is just a temporary solution uh, so that the voice can synchronize with the video. Let's first look at things we need for this experiment. So let's uh, bring it down. So we have with us three cardboards here. So let's first look at the first cardboard. It's a cardboard with a, a round hole inside of it. So that's the first thing we need. The second, uh, the same shaped, uh, same size cardboard, but with a square hole. And the third is uh, a cardboard with a triangular hole. So these are the three things we need. Now, if you want, you can have different shapes. Actually, the shape can be, you can diversify the shapes. You can have a shape of a flower or a different shape, it, the shape of a rectangle, I don't know. It can be anything too fancy. So, but for simplicity, I've chosen here three basic uh, shaped holes, the triangular, the square, and the circle. Now, it doesn't need to be a perfect cut hole. As you can see, my shapes are not perfectly cut, but they will serve the purpose of our challenge. So it's a square, but as you can see, some gaps in there. So you don't have to be, you know, a, per a perfectionist when making these holes. A small uh, variations are okay. Now, so that's the first thing we need. And the second thing we need for this experiment is a light source. So we have our trusted Mr. Lamp here. Say hi, Mr. Lamp. Hello. Okay. So we can use this lamp as a light source. And that's all we need. We need a source of light and we need different shaped holes. Uh, in cardboard or it can be on paper okay. so we will do this experiment first indoors and then outdoors so we'll attempt the challenge first uh, with an artificial source of light and then we'll attempt the same challenge with the natural source of light ie the Sun so without further ado let's get started Now, let me explain what the challenge actually is. Now that we have these cardboards with us and a source of light, I will first show you the first part of the challenge so that it's easy for you to understand what the challenge actually is. So first, let's take the cardboard with the round hole and this is the light source. So I'm gonna switch it on. Just give me a second, let me just adjust it. Okay, so we have the light source here. And we have the cardboard. Now you have to guess the shape of the shadow cast by this round hole on this table. So let's see. Yeah, as you can see, if I bring it a little near, Yeah, I can see, actually, I can see uh, it's a round shaped shadow. So the round hole casts a round shaped shadow. But I don't know if I can show you, so I will let me... Yeah, can you see it? It's a round hole shadow. Uh, yes. And... Let's see. Yeah, it's a round hole. And yeah, I think this way I can show you better. Yeah, it's a round hole. So the the round hole casts a round shadow, a circular shadow on the table. Challenges, what do you think will be the shape of the shadow cast by this square hole and 
this triangular hole on the table and that's the challenge okay so let's get started first let me switch on the light okay and I'll keep it a bit of a distance so that we have space for the cards to come between the table and the light source so this is the triangular hole card and let's see so we have cast yes so let's try yes can you see that is that amazing so you have a round hold shape uh, from the shadow cast by the triangular card isn't that amazing okay now let's try with the square hole again as you can see there's no illusion it's not an illusion it's just science it's just natural fact even if the hole is square in the shape uh, the shadow it cast on the table is round isn't that amazing now so that was the result with the square the triangular and the square different shaped uh, holes cards gave the same result all of them cast a circular shadow on the table now we'll do we'll attempt the same experiment with Sun so let's go out and let's see what happens so we have the light source here with us so first let's try the cardboard with the round hole it's round shape isn't it okay so that's very natural you have a round hole cardboard and you have a round shape shadow in there now let's try the cardboard with a triangular hole so you have this triangular hole here and let's see what kind of uh, hole we get in the shadow and lo and behold in the shadow there as you can see that's the shadow i'm moving it you have a round hole in the space there so that was the triangular cardboard uh, now uh, lastly we have the cardboard with the square hole uh, in it and if you look at the shadow that it creates it's a round shadow isn't that amazing so <laughs> it doesn't matter what uh, uh, what shape of hole you have in the cardboard you see it's square shape and uh, the the image you have of the hole on the wall is round So we showed it indoors and we showed it outdoors. So there we have it. We did the experiment both indoors and outdoors and the result was the same. You always had a round shaped uh, shadow. Doesn't matter what the shape of the hole was. And the reason behind it is very simple. The hole will not cast its own shadow the hole will cast the shadow of the source of light now in both cases indoor and outdoor we had a round source of light so we had this light was round and so the shape of the hole was round similarly outside we had the sun as our source of light and the sun is round so the hole is only reflecting the shape of the source of light which is the Sun in this case so that's the simple explanation you have there uh, the whole the shape of the hole doesn't matter what matters is the source of light the shape of that so and the same principle was used in old photography so today we have digital uh, you know cameras but uh, the old photographers used to have this black box kind of things and in the back of that black box they had you know uh, I, I, I forgot silver nitrate I think the negative reel 
uh, that you used to buy, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. So, <laughs> uh, and those, those negative reels would actually capture the source of light, in this case, people. So if you had a person and the light is coming from the person, well, you have uh, the image of the person captured on the negative of the camera, uh, the negative reel of the camera. So that's the explanation. The same principle was used by pinhole cameras uh, back in the day when we didn't have digital photography. So thank you for watching this video of uh, Free Science 365. And as always, please subscribe. Uh, please spread this video as much as possible. Please like it. And thank you for watching till the end. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.